Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, I was actually thinking of making another video today, however, something changed my mind. As you can see here, I have the uh, Terra Rebels Discord channel in front of me, and I was having a discussion on Discord in the Terra Rebels channel about the Terra Rebels team that I try to show who they are before or something like that um, so and I had already left that part that video was three days old or something like that I think so I didn't think more about it but then somebody replied to a three-year-old post and they wrote nobody cares about their identity this is not some shitcoin project it is a huge project which failed and they are just trying to help and I replied everyone should be caring about who they are since it doesn't matter if it is a shitcoin as you, you want to call it or not who they are and if they are competent enough is the most important part and why did I write this you might ask well both in the finance industry or financial industry as well in the crypto industry there are a lot of frauds and scams I want to start with something most people have heard of the Ponzi scheme so this part doesn't need any more presentation right you already know about it next we have the fall of the Barings Bank in England when one of the employees brought down one of England's oldest banks. And then we have Enron. Enron, back in the US around 20 years ago. And recently we also have something called Theranos fraud, or the Theranos, with Elizabeth Holmes. All of these companies are, or were even larger, than Terra Luna Classic or Terra Luna. So an investor really needs to do their research and at least some background checks of the people running the project or company. However, that is not why what got my attention. It was actually this person and what they said. And I'll quote, quote him again. Nobody cares about their identity. This is not some shitcoin project. It is a huge project which failed and they just want, are trying to help. Okay, so let's say I want to make some money on a brand. How would I do it? Okay, well, I would start to see if I could buy that brand or in any way control it. Second, I would like to get the communities to, behind the brand to support me right and when I say I want the project to go to the moon so you all can make money you all can buy Lambos or anything like that like whatever everything in the crypto industry says or the all the influencers all the youtubers said oh this coin will go to the moon yeah okay so next as we have seen the price had gone up now with Terra Luna okay after the crash and it a prob probably I think it will continue to go up a bit more or much more even so and at least that I would say <coughs> I would tell the community it will go up we will continue working on this and if I have a price goal if there's if it's 0 0.005 or something that is what I'm gonna dump everything okay because then I have made those millions that I want from this project and I will simply dump it and the price will go down but I will still have made my millions even if I said I want to help this community I want to grow it I want to take over I want to help you guys I want you to buy your Lambos I want you to Buy your space rockets so you can go to the moon with Elon Musk or something, right? Yeah. 
And since I am completely anonymous online, except for my social media, but the social media is just a nickname, right? Or even my name is something that millions other have. So all I have to do is delete those and then nobody can conf confront me for this. I'm completely safe, right? That is why it's important to know who is behind these projects. What have they done? What is their experience, okay? Every cryptocurrency, crypto project or similar, like Dogecoin, Chiba, Cardano, Ethereum, Solana, XRP, Binance, I forgot, even the shitcoin SafeMoon has their own community. And now, Terra Rebels with Terra Luna Classic have their own community. However, I want to remind everyone that the Terra Rebels community is not the only Terra Luna Classic community. This is just one part, okay? And I also want everybody to remember these words and think about it, okay? Here we go. A cult is a group or movement held together by a shared commitment to a charismatic leader or ideology. It has a belief system that has the answers to all of life's questions and offers a special solution to be gained only by following the leader or ideology's rules. Okay? And this is damn close or maybe spot on to what that cult member replied to me on Discord, right? With their ideology in mind, be being making millions from peanuts that they invested. Like if they invest $50, they're gonna get millions, right? In less than a year or something, or two years, okay? Because most people only can afford maybe $50 a month or something. Like most, peepers are, most people are not millionaires when they invest. They invest the little money they can, okay? So even if that $50 becomes $1,000, that's a lot. So don't come saying they make millions because that's lies. The same as with the Safe Moon Cult and their leader who stole from the liquidity pool to buy a house, cars, prostitutes, or who knows what more or what, right? You should never let this run who or what you want to do. You are an individual and need to start to think by yourself. And another thing, this is not an ape. Or this is an ape. Goddamn mods in the Discord group calls their members apes. Have you ever heard anything this with this disrespecting demeanor? Hm, I haven't. Well, maybe some words, but I would say they're motherfucking blah 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 as well. That's even kinder to say than that. call somebody an ape. If you have a crypto project, you need to be honest, you need to be transparent, and you need to treat your investors with respect. That also goes for the community members. If not, unless you're running a cult, you will lose. However, maybe even when running a cult, you lose, right? Because you're building dreams and you're breaking them down for people. And I really don't like when a community becomes more like a cult, like it happens. Like, like there's nothing called FUD. It's just your opinion. So make sure to express your opinion. Express like questions. Don't be afraid because it's not FUD. There is no FUD. FUD is something make-believe. And so I hope you see that it's very important to know who is behind the decision in every other crypto project, no matter what a cult member says. Well, that's all for me today. Have a great weekend. I'll see if I get the other video up later. Oh yeah, I just wanted to mention before we go. Um, a community, a crypto community's members is not to 
blindly stand behind the cryptocurrency itself. The community's job is to question the leaders or the team. Question, question all the time. Ask. Like, you have to do this. Like, they should not feel safe ever. They need to know that they're doing this for investors, not for themselves. Not so they can buy Lambos or go to the moon. Because that's not the meaning behind this. So don't forget, make them sweat. Question them. Re-question them all the time, okay? So you can see where this goes. If the leaders are just like silent and the moderators or admin in different social media groups like uh, silencing you, well, then you know there's you have to see red flags there. You cannot trust that. Those mods are terrible. They're there to protect the leaders. They're getting paid for this, but you are not. Community members of every cryptocurrency have to question, question, and question, re-question the developer team. What the hell are they doing? Okay? Thank you. Don't forget that I'm giving away either some BNB crypto or a trip to Thailand. If I get that many subscribers. And you can be one of them. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.